Hello, this video is going to show you how you can take attendance in Schoology for your sections in PowerSchool. In order to do this, you need to be, of course, logged into your AmSchool uh, Schoology account, and then you will go to a section that you wish to, that you're going to have for the class. When you get to the section, you're going to see on the left hand side, at the halfway down, you're going to see attendance. So you click on attendance, and you'll notice that the attendance will come up. Now this class doesn't have class on this day, but to show you an example, let's say you have class on this day with this, um, this group of students, and you'll notice that you can see all of the attendance for that period and all of the students that are marked there. If a student has already been marked as absent, excused, or school activity in PowerSchool by the secretary or administrator, then you'll see that code that links over. It's automatically synced to that. Additionally, you can see comments that are left as well. So if you have this group of students, you can use the fill code. And notice up here, you've got a number of attendance codes. You have present, absent, unexcused, the same codes that you would find in PowerSchool. So you can choose one of these, if you want to fill, or you can choose one, let's say this student is absent unexcused, and I can click that or any other student to mark them as absent unexcused. If their meeting wasn't required, then I can click the meeting was not required. If you notice on the right, you can also see a place where I can put a comment in. So let's say I wanted to edit the comments here and say this student was not required to attend. And then I can click OK, and all of a sudden the comment is here. If I mark it as such, let's say I just mark them as present. And so we'll mark them as present, and we'll mark this one student as no meeting required. So I could go through the entire attendance roster, and I could input their attendance for that day. I'm also able to use the fill code. No student was required to attend. Let's say this is Wednesday, so I had office hours. I click no meeting required, and then I hit fill code. And notice it fills everything in for the entire class, just like it would do in PowerSchool. So I'll fill this again. Once you fill it with, the, with no meeting required, you would have to go back through and click every individual student. Once you have your attendance where it needs to be, the only thing that you need to do is click submit. Notice it says on the top, the changes have been recorded. So what does this mean? This means that if you go to Power Teacher, you're gonna be able to see that the attendance is exactly what you would put in Schoology. It synchronizes over 100%. Like I said, the comments synchronize over and the codes synchronize over as well. So this way, you only have to take attendance using Schoology. If you notice the day that I took attendance for, which is Wednesday, October the 13th, you can see that the same student has been marked no meeting required. Now you can change the attendance just as you might in PowerSchool going back through. This is a new setup that PowerSchool and Schoology have, which is going to allow you to be a little bit more efficient with how you are taking attendance for your classes. If you have any questions, please let me know. And you can also talk with some of the other teachers in your division because some of them are already using this feature as it was trialed with them. Thanks so much. And let me know if you have any questions.